Hey guys, what's going on? MoFet, right here in top 32 winners, we have the legendary Luigi player, Ka Master. A lot of people remember him from way back in the day for being a really great Luigi player. Uh, still pretty good. Obviously, he's gotten top 32 here at Northwest Majors, and Kaka's very own Foos Jr., who's playing Sheik. He is ranked third in Oregon. He is a force to be reckoned with. Hasn't made it out to a lot of tournaments lately, but luckily he has made it out here, and he's going to show what's up. Yeah, we'll see. All right, Calm Master, Karai chopping right through those needles. And again, uh, great punish, pretty standard punish. Force Sheik back onto the stage and then get him with that uh, Karate Chop. And this is kind of an interesting matchup uh, because you can actually combo Luigi pretty well with Sheik. Uh, Luigi can get out of a lot of the, uh, the longer combos, but you can get two, three hit combos on him like that. Uh, just like that, that dash attack into Forder was a perfect example. If you have great spacing, then you can still combo Luigi. It's not a lost cause. His floatiness does not disable him from being comboed. All right, Foos jumped up to see if he could get some sort of a follow-up. A Calm Master faded back, not wanting to get hit. But that forward tilt up there is going to seal out that stock. And I believe we're in winners here, but let me go ahead and check for us. Yep, we are in winners. And the winner of this is actually going to be fighting Drugged Fox. So obviously, Luigi Sheik or Sheik Sheik. And actually, uh, Cop Master there at a mere 57% is actually starting to uh, bring this back a little bit. Right now, he's evening up the percent. Who's at 50? 60? Alright, he gets hit by a get-up attack. Ooh, oh, oh, that was, that was beautiful. That was a fantastic idea. I really loved where he was going with there. Wave dash backwards and then uh, forward air off the platform. He's definitely adopted some new technology since uh, he was last in Washington. Oh, comes out with a chain. Not going to have a good enough recovery to make it back. Who's really trying to follow up right now, uh, keeping very good spacing. Just really staying in his face. And Luigi's, uh, Luigi players tend to have really great recovery. It's because Luigi does have some tricks that he can pull out to make his recovery a little bit better, including the candlestick. No, the misfire. Whichever you prefer to say, really. Alright, and Fu's uh, looking to go in with some needles right now, but Calm Master with the crouch cancels. Alright, great patience right there. Waiting for Calm Master to come out of his shield so we could get that punish. Again with the patience, uh, punish Calm Master's roll twice now. And a third time almost. I actually really like how Calm Master waited for that one. He's doing a lot of good stuff to punish Sheik. And uh, Neil's come out instead of the upbeat. First match going to Calm Master, the legendary. What is up? All right, we got Connor Kelly joining me on the mic. AKA Contra. The Contra. This is, uh, historically, it's a rough matchup for Luigi, but uh, Kamaster obviously pretty good at it. It is, wow. That, what was, the that was nice. That Jeez. was, uh, that was Kamaster right there. And, uh, Fuz is, Fuz is flubbing a little bit here and there. He is, he is flubbing. Yeah, he's. Fuz is actually really good against Luigi because he has bird experience. Yeah, I I was actually noticing uh, that he was no stranger to this matchup. It's pretty obvious that he knows what he's doing here. Yeah, absolutely. He's using needles really well, and he's like that's just the thing that keeps Luigi out. And uh, but right now he's in an edge guard situation, and uh, as that 
last match showed us the Master's really good at punishing. And it kind of looks like uh, maybe Yoshi's Story wasn't the best choice. Ooh, that text, though. Whoa, those beautiful Super crazy texts. Text. Okay, still dies, though, because Sheik's recovery. Uh, yeah. yeah, and Fuza's, uh, Fuza's going for the stage a lot. I don't think I've seen him go for the sta for the ledge once. And uh, I think now would be the time to start mixing it up, because Comm Master's punished him on that every single time. Yeah, especially in situations where Comm Master, if he gets the punish, he's going to die. Because, like, you're just giving it a 50-50 at that point. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> All in good fun, but... I don't fully understand how he went so far, but when it comes to Luigi, we don't question it. No. Anything can happen. It looks like Fuz is getting a little bit antsy with those combos. He wants to catch up right now. Yeah. Now he's at the percent where he can start doing those down throws and uh, four tilts into forward air. Yeah. Love that. Wave dash out of shield, turn around dash attack. I'm always impressed by Fuz's movement. He's always very fluid. It's really good. And that. Oh. Ooh. Good going, DI he, choice. He's going for that reverse fair. He does that a lot. He's down. One stock to three on and Yoshi's story. This is still two out of three, not top 16 yet. Well, yeah. Once we get to top 16, it'll be uh, best of five. Yeah, yeah. But we're doing all of top 16 tomorrow. At yep. Noon? Yeah, ish. Yeah. Uh, losers will be over here. Winners will be over there. At Team Chaos. Yeah, Team Chaos. Which, once again, I suggest a multi-twitch. Oh, my God. He made it back. I, I thought for sure he was dead. Yeah. All right. And he is dead. But he was at 73%. That's... Virtually kill percent. Like this needs to be, like in order to pow the needle. In, in order to bring this back, he needs to play the spacing game and get some grabs. He needs to read his approaches. I think uh, is the main thing here, and then get punishes on those. Oh, but that is gonna do it. Yeah. Calm Master over Foos Jr. That is too bad. And if you noticed, uh, Calm Master is using a lot of wave dash forward tilt. 